Hello, everyone. My name is Victoria Martin. I'm an astrologer in Chicago, the tell like it is capital of the world. And I'm going to tell you about October 2015. It's quite an interesting month. It is possibly the best month of 2015. However, I'm really starting the month um, with the new moon, which is October 12th, because the first week or so of October is a little crunchy. Um, what I want to say is that um, you can maximize your luck from September and August, the stuff that started back then. And also, my advice is to continue with the compulsory upgrades in terms of networking and technology, which was what we were doing in July. All right, though, here's, here's our menu. The, um, we start the month of October with this leftover Mercury retrograde, which started September 17th. It's going until October 9th. And also, there was um, a very potent lunar eclipse that occurred on the 27th of September, and we're still going to be feeling a little bit of that. And uh, Mars is opposed Neptune October 3rd through 9th. That's high sensitivity. October 4th through 9th, the sun is square to Pluto, so that's changes in negotiations. But then everything starts to shift around the, um, well, after the 9th, I have a time window, 6th through 16th, Jupiter trying Pluto. That's great success. And the October 9th through 13th, the sun is opposed Uranus, and that is some really charismatic teamwork. The new moon is October 10th through 14th, a new start. October 14th through 20th, Mars conjunct Jupiter. That's great luck. And October 24th, 26th, Venus conjunct Jupiter. More good luck. And then the full moon is really an amazing full moon, and that's October 25th through 29th. So let's take a look at the detail. Okay, so when Mercury's in retrograde, um, this is a push towards research mode. Um, it uh, features active curiosity and troubleshooting, solutions, revisions, and remedy. So that goes up until October 9th. Uh, the lunar eclipse, just to recap, that is always a challenge to standards, either family or community, extreme emotions, great stories. Um, very difficult for females, the, the lunar eclipse, typically. October 3rd through 9th, Mars opposed to Neptune. This is competition and uh, teamwork, referendum, and compromise are some of the hallmarks of an opposition. So you can see Mars has that pioneer spirit. The Neptune has the glamour. So that kind of challenge which, to integrate those two things is extremely volatile and high sensitivity. So my forecast for this period, Mars opposition, Neptune, is summoning ghosts for banishment or entertainment, like Ouija boards, don't do it, is risky. Some toxins are dispersed along the way with a wealth of information. So, you know, you get a mix of both. My advice is catch the vivid narratives, myth makers, and sim symbol spinners, and um, current actions will give you clues and impact intrigue. So it's just, you know, a mixed bag, and so you want to protect yourself. The October 4th through 9th, the sun is square Pluto. The issues connected to the squares are management, tension, challenge, and confrontation. So the sun is always our marker. It's always what times, what are the current events. So the sun being energy, drama, your sense of purpose. So square to Pluto means we're confronting the powers that be and issues of wealth or trade secrets. Are they right or are they wrong? And you know, there's only so much you can change about Pluto because it holds the power. So very often, current events have to be making compromises or current goals or projects, making compromise based on the powers that be. Plans are retooled according to directions from people in power or irrefutable conditions, like weather, you know. Best bet is be a people pleaser, a survivalist, and a team player. So a little bit of compromise indicated there. Okay, so now here we're getting into some good news, October 6th through 16th. Some of these time frames are overlapping, obviously. And this is Jupiter trine Pluto. This is one of the best configurations of the entire year. Um, a trine has to do with creativity, protection, and harmony. You know, triangle's a very stable figure, so it, and it's a nice green color, too. So we can see that the forecast is excitable or formidable, describes the missionaries, entrepreneurs, and angels. Let's not take that literally, but you, but you can if you want. Um, 
Opportunities are in sync with power-wielding people. This breeds huge success potential. Miracles are possible. Follow the elite as huge forces converge and high-minded people join together. So, I mean, this is, this is all very, very positive. V really good combination because you have the enthusiasm of Jupiter and the power and wealth of Pluto somehow working in sync. Okay, by October 9th, Mercury is back on track. Mercury being your interests, mapping things out, your database, narratives, and reasoning. So we like to see a Mercury prograde. Of course, one quarter of the population has Mercury in retrograde, and so that's a good time for them when it goes retrograde. But for most of us, we want to see Mercury in prograde motion. October 9th through 13th, the sun is opposed Uranus. So again, there's that teamwork, but also some competition. So the sun, our basic drive to manifest and create is making up team, teamwork with the future or with innovative people and reinventing things. So let's see what we say, human lightning rods. That's like the, just the events or people that are stepping up. Um, channel and distribute brilliant ideas and create sensational products and teams. So my advice is a contrarian or futuristic mindset is a crowd pleaser. So that's kind of, you want to you know, bring together the qualities of both these. Now, the new moon is always a great thing, a great new start. In this case, October 10th through 14th. And um, you could easily say that the new moon is the tabla rasa. You know, it's the, the kind of blank slate. So it's, it's a time when we uh, can be or should be open and receptive, expectant and anxious, prophetic and tactical, also hopeful and wishful. You know, these are the kinds of positive things. There is an introverted mood on a new moon. Um, this new moon is near the star Spica in Virgo. So the players here are science, agriculture, and philosophy. The scenes are culture, music, and art. And the issues are hope versus cynicism. So that's what you can expect to see happen on that new moon. So my forecast is experience residue emerging that from scandals betrayal or distractions. This builds strong character. Be attuned to culture, science, and justice. These provide a profound and good life. October 10th through 14th, the new moon is also still opposed to Uranus. So this is thrilling. Many surprises usher in new teams and projects. It could be quite manic. October 14th through 20th, also we have Mars, zero degrees, that's conjunct to Jupiter. This is huge sense of enterprise, marks the beginning of a new bullish progressive phase. Premonitions about catastrophes or problems encourage preventative measures. Use engineering skills, design talent, and theater antics to produce remedies or miracle cures. So you can see this is the beginning of a new, two, I think it's 2.2 year cycle. This often does coincide with the beginning of a bull market. Uh, but don't try to buy the bottom. You know, wait till you see signs of things really taking off. October 14th through 20th. Here uh, again, just to reiterate that this Mars-Jupiter conjunction is forming a trine to Pluto because we saw that Jupiter and Pluto were trying before. So this is just adding more to the potential for success. So for those of you who are entrepreneurs or independents, this is going to be just a tremendously positive time for you. So here's what I'm saying about it, is that a great sense of enterprise makes the beginning of a new progressive phase. Oh, we already looked at that. Okay, we can skip that. Um, okay, Venus is conjunct Jupiter. The bright lights unite to bring joy and celebration. I mean, this is just a very, very good time to have a party or to celebrate or to tell people who are close to you that you care about them. Um, then we're coming up on the full moon. There's lots of options on this full moon. The moon is in um, the head of... Aries, astronomically speaking, it's also lined up with Andromeda Galaxy, and the triangle, uh, triangle galaxy is right here, and then below is Ketus the Whale. So you can always expect a lot of drama, important partnerships, a rich social life, and many vivid events on every full moon. Let's go through some of these stars that are prominent. Um, that's our full moon. It's near the Andromeda Galaxy. And the discovery in 1920 changed the world view. So it's a whole idea of thinking outside the box and, and just really expanding. Um, it's also at the whale's heart. So we are able to feel the pulse in the center of life. You can know the force behind organisms, both biological and synthetic. So it's a real kind of good research mode and also a good monitoring on, on this full moon. And um, the zodiac um, constellation is actually, even though it's in tropical Taurus, it's in astronomical Aries. So this has to do with strong primal instincts, but also idealism, 
a drive to get to the top, slow but sure, feeling pride in nation, roots, and cultural heritage. So we'll see some, you know, really kind of revival of ethnic glory and maybe on this full moon, and everyone can, um, can feel good about where they came from. So um, what's really neat, the frosting on the cake, is that this full moon forms a grand trine with, remember, Mars and Jupiter and Pluto. So, I mean, this is just one of the best configurations of the whole year. So I really encourage you to make the most of it. And um, there at that last week of October, because November, not so easy. Um, my forecast is signs of stoicism and sacrifice. Now, you've got to read between the lines. I'm not going to tell you anything terrible, but, you know, this is a sign toughen up, but avoid self-destruction. Be on guard and stay cool. November's a very challenging month, so you want to max your benefits in October. And we will talk more about November in our next installment. But in the meantime, I wish you great luck and great success in October. And thank you very much for watching. My name's Victoria Martin.